Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to Planet Cryos. Eh, let's do this all over. Cut! Ow. I forgot I didn't even want these on. So my girlfriend's son, being only eight years old, wants to start gaming for the first time on a PC, and I have a solution for him, so stick around. So like I said, my girlfriend's son is eight years old and he's gonna be gaming for the first time on a PC and I have a good solution for him, which is this PC right here. Uh, this is my old system. You may have seen me uh, put the components in here um, for this on another video, but what I have in here is the Core i7-6700K. Um, I realize that is an older chip, but it's going to run Windows 10 perfectly fine. It's paired with a uh, Asus motherboard, um, and that is a Z97 chipset on the motherboard. So it's going to be able to run Windows 10 for another three years when, when it is not, or when Windows 10 is up in 2025, we will... Uh, upgrade his CPU and motherboard and reuse the uh, probably the, uh, the M.2 that's in it. We can reuse the power supply, that's brand new. The case is perfectly fine. And maybe upgrade his graphics card or keep the same one. And speaking of which, the new graphics card that's going in this is a Zotec uh, Gaming Twin Bridges, or Twin Bridges, Twin Edge. And this is the DC edition. Uh, it's eight gigabytes, and this is a 3050. And um, it's going to be good enough for the gaming that he wants to do. Being only eight years old, um, he can get used to some games in the, the, with this to start. And then we can upgrade him later down the line when he gets older and more responsible. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this in. We're gonna make sure this works before I run out of my time to send this back and get a refund. I wanna make sure this works so I can get this ready for Christmas and uh, give it to him and hopefully he's going to appreciate it. I'm sure he will. But yeah, with that said, let's get going on this PC and uh, open up the side panel and install this. All right, like I said, this is a newer case that I had purchased a while back. This is the Corsair uh, Q110. I think this is an amazing small little compact case. I really actually like it. Um, I've used it a couple times now. Um, nothing serious, but uh, I really enjoy the compactness of this case. And it's got sound dampening material on the inside. If you want to check out this case, I did a review on it. I will Post a little uh, um, link at the top, you can, or down in the uh, notes, and you can check out the review on this case. So, like I said, we have this all built already. This is a, a, a Pro Gaming uh, Z97 uh, Asus motherboard. It has a Sabrent one terabyte NVMe. Um, Put in it. I thought it was a 500 gig, but it is a one terabyte, so that'll be uh, just perfectly fine. Uh, we could even install, I might even install a second hard drive form for his games, and um, that way he can use this as a boot drive, but we'll see. Um, we may not need to do that. We may just load everything right on that. We have, oh, 32 gigs of DDR4 storage, uh, that's G-Skill memory. We have uh, the heat sink here. Of course, like I said, we have the Core uh, 6700K. We have an NZXT C750 power supply, and it is a semi-modular power supply, I do believe. Nope, it is fully modular. I can't remember what I built here. Um, but very basic. N nothing else is going to get hooked up. 
uh, but what you see here, and we have to do the graphics card, which I do have to actually get a cable out. I completely forgot um, for the graphics card. It's going to use a single cable going right up to the graphics card, so there's no need to actually go to the back of the motherboard and up the back and out the front again. So we're just gonna come straight up to the graphics card, I do believe. So let's install this thing. Let's get it out of its package and see what it looks like. This is the box that it comes in. Um, I will tell you that I already opened this and there's one thing that I'm a little disappointed with. I don't know if it's just Zotec that does this or it's the lower end models of graphics cards. So if you open it up, you got your warranty information. And this is wrapped up nicely, which is fine. That's the rest of the box, nothing else in it. We're gonna take it out of its protective static bag and bubble wrap. And one thing that you see on graphics cards usually is a rubber piece to protect all these pins down here. And it does not come on it. But, I mean, for a 3050, it's not a bad looking card. It's very basic. I just thought it would come with some protective stuff on it. There's no Peely tabs. There's, it's like, I guess you're just saving a few bucks for all that. But here are our outputs. We have four outputs. We have three uh, DVI and one HDMI. So that's great. I almost went with the uh, EVGA. Um, you know, they're not making graphics cards anymore, but I was going to settle on a 1660 Supra, and it was a little bit cheaper than this by about 50 bucks, but uh, that was a 1660 versus a 3050. So we got a lot more CUDA cores in this, and also the other one came with a DVI connection, which is old. Uh, so I was just like, why? why? Why am I getting the old one when I can spend 50 more bucks and get something better? So we do have to take out our two uh, brackets out of the back uh, so we can stick this graphics card in. Get yourself a screwdriver. And normally, pretty sure these are the two that I have to come out. It's the second one down and the third one down. Take this out so it doesn't fall. And what you do with these is up to you, but I would store them like in your motherboard box. Um, I have a bunch of these, so I kind of put them all in the same place, and then when I go, oh, I just match them up uh, because I have a bunch of computers. So, uh, but yeah, I would store them in like your motherboard box or something. So, that said, this next step is very easy. Um, goes upside down like this, and we're going to go in the upmost, the top slot of the motherboard. That's where all graphics cards go, unless you're doing something old, like running SLI or uh, for dual graphics cards. That's another topic. But uh, normally it goes up here in the upmost top slot. The slot that is the optimized position for your graphics card. Okay, again, make sure your card is in this orientation. And these two empty slots right here is where this bracket's going to mount to. And you need to keep your screws, don't forget. And now you can push it just like that. And sometimes you don't hear that strong of an audible click. Uh, sometimes you do. Depends on the motherboard and the graphics card and how you're pushing it in. Now you're going to take your screws that you had and you're going to reinstall them back where you took those pieces out here for the brackets in the back. Snug them up. No need to put a lot of torque on these, but just have enough so the graphics card does not move. Okay, normally your power supply, uh, if it's a good one anyway, it is going to come with some sort of a, a place to store your stuff. I love the NZXT uh, purple cases here. I think they are great looking. Uh, it's got a nice zipper. 
Uh, you can keep all of your spare cables right where you need them. So what we need is this connector right here. This goes to your power supply unit and this other end goes to the graphics card. So that is the cable that we need. Okay, so this is kind of what I talk about a lot when I build PCs is, see, I took off the motherboard power supply cable because I can't get to the bottom. Now you have a couple options. I could have took out this tray, which holds the hard drives, um, or I could have took, off, took out the power supply again, um, but I just chose to remove this cable because I have a very small room amount of room to fit my hand in here because I need to get to a, a, a connection that's way over here and it's not one of these these are these are for the uh, peripherals peripherals or the SATA I need to get to the PCIe which is way over here and one of these guys right there so now that connectors in I can reconnect the motherboard power supply. Get that in. Get that one in. And now we can cable manage this so it's tidy. Put this, one of these ends, it doesn't matter which end, I prefer the closer end. That way you can zip tie this nice and neat. You can see which direction that this cable goes in. So you want to put these two pieces together. They're separate like this. This requires eight pins. So you only have six on here and you have the extra two right here. You got to put these together and make sure they're connected. They separate very easily. So you have to hold them while you put this in to the connector like that. And then go ahead and push until I think that's connected actually yep we're all the way in some of them are a lot more difficult to get in so this is just going to lightly bend right here and then we're going to cable tie this all right our graphics card is in we have it all hooked up I do not have a cable managed just yet I want to make sure that it's going to operate as it should and come to speak of, I didn't see any, there's no Peely plastics on that graphics card. I don't even think there's any on the fans, but I'm going to check right now. Nope. No Peely plastics. So it's kind of nice not to be able to peel them, but I don't get it. I guess they don't care about their stuff like the higher end people. So, all right, we have our power cable connected. We have our... HDMI connected to this monitor. I do have to switch screens. I got my mouse connected. I don't need a keyboard right now. I just want to see if it actually turns on and boots. So let's turn our power supply is now on. You can kind of see some red going on in there. And we're going to hit the power button. We got both fans spinning. There's no front fan. Uh, the only other fan in the system. There's no top fans either. It's just the one on the power supply. This is going to be pretty quiet. And let's switch our input. And so far, so good. Now, obviously, this doesn't have a driver yet, so everything is large, but... I am going to um, get this all set. So, clearly I have forgotten what I had. And this is not a Z97. This is a Z170 chipset. So this is the Asus Pro Gaming Z170. I don't know how I forgot where I started. That's pretty sad. Anyway, I have my utilities and I have the new NVIDIA 
driver that I need for this new graphics card. So I'm going to install this. Um, I got it from my other computer. Uh, the other thing that this does need is a Wi-Fi adapter. I kind of forgot, so that's two goofs in this. Um, I believe I have one. So that's just a matter of sticking it in one of the other slots. You can also get one of these. These are pretty cheap. Uh, but I'm not going to like this for him for gaming. Uh, so we are going to uh, get him another one. It's like 30, 40 bucks um, from Amazon or wherever. So anyway, let's get this driver installed. All right, so I loaded it under drivers and... Here's this, we're actually going to, uh, yeah, we'll run it, we'll put it in, well, yeah, we'll run, we'll run it off of the actual computer instead of through my thing, so, uh, we'll close that for now, I'm going to start up this, now if you're doing this for the first time, you have speakers hooked up to this normally, when this pops up, you'll hear a little beep on the computer or a ding or whatever. It's just a notification um, sound to let you know that something's changing. And now we're installing the new driver for this graphics card. And you will see the monitor go blank for a moment and come right back. It should come back. If it doesn't, there's a problem. But it should come back and everything's going to get smaller um, and look a lot sharper even with this 1080p monitor. Right now it's just running a basic VGA um, graphics driver. So we're going to do the graphics driver and GeForce experience for them. And we're gonna do the express installation. I'm trying to keep this running in real time so you know what to expect. Even when you're updating your drivers at home, this is what you should expect with NVIDIA, at least. AMD may be a little different, um, but I want to keep this running, keep this all as real as possible. If I do make cuts like this, it's usually I cut it right to the end. Nothing else has happened. I will tell you if something ever happens. That way you don't have any surprises. But sometimes it's a lot to run in 4K all the time. And, um, but it is what it is. So right now it's installing the graphics driver. And I'm going to jump to the end for this. Uh, because this could take a, a moment or two. And there's no sense in burning a battery and memory card space and computer space for this and there you go that is what happens is it goes blank for a second everything shrinks and now we are good we are good as far as the gra new graphics card driver it's finishing up the installation right now and we should be done in just seconds Again, with any anytime you're installing something, just be patient. And so now it's asking create basically the two check boxes here. Create a desktop shortcut for NVIDIA GeForce Experience and launch the GeForce Experience. Now I'm not gonna launch it, but we will create the desktop shortcut. It'll appear over here, which it just did. Now we can delete the the driver that I hadn't uh, put on here. And the next things that we're going to check. All right, so I'm going to run something like uh, Cinebench. Um, and just to test out the CPU, GPU, uh, make sure everything's good with it. Make sure the temps are good with it. Um, this is Cinebench R23, by the way. Um, and yes accept and i want to shrink that so we can watch the temps over here at the same time we're also going to do advanced benchmark we're going to run it for 10 minutes test the throttling on it we're going to do the multi-core and there we go we're going to start 
All right, guys, so this is where it's scored, way down here, um, obviously below the Core i7-7700K. Um, so anyway, I don't really care. It scored a 51.53. Yeah, it's low, but it's an older PC, um, or older CPU, I should say. So our max temp that we hit was 71 degrees in 10 minutes of... Uh, seeing if this thing is going to have an issue. Um, it is looking pretty good. It's a little warm, but it's not hot. So, uh, I say we are good to go. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I think he's going to really like it. I know I didn't run Heaven's Benchmark. I probably should have. I may do that off, off camera. Um... But the one that I have is not working properly on the stick. I would have to download it. This thing's not hooked up to the internet. I still have to get a Wi-Fi card for it. So I'd have to go and download Heaven's Benchmark. I probably could have done it with this PC. And then install it on this. So a lot of this takes time. But that's the only thing. Other than the cable management, I just have to tidy that up. Take me a minute. And this thing's ready to go other than the updates for Windows. And I'll do that probably in about two months um, when it's right up close to Christmas and that way it's ready to rock and roll um, shortly after. So anyway, uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it, share it, share it. I want to get out there as much as possible and help out people. I've seen through the comments now uh, they're starting to build a little bit with some of the help that I've given people. I enjoy it. Uh, I can't answer every question. I don't know every answer out there. I'm still learning myself through uh, certain uh, points to PCs, but um, I do enjoy making this. And uh, with that said, don't feel discouraged to leave a comment. Go ahead and leave a comment uh, that you liked it, you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, But other than that, I'm going to say this. Until next time, take care.